All right, boys and girls, welcome back to the drive through. Sponsored by the deli. Hungry? Stop by the deli. Get yourself a, uh, a healthy sandwich on whole grain. You know? Because it's Monday. This is a tough proof, so we're going to give ourselves uh, a double double column to see if we can get it all on one screen, but I might have to do some extra um, abbreviations, okay? We are trying to prove that SA bisects PSR. So let's start thinking backwards. We want to prove that these two angles are congruent. Okay? Uh, and that's not going to be easy because it doesn't look like they're parts of congruent triangles. So CPCTC is not going to work. Uh, that's what we're trying to prove. Now let me erase that. And we are given that PA bisects QPS, so we're given this. And we're given that A is the midpoint, so we're going to be able to get to this. So let me just get started with two steps, and then we'll start thinking backwards, okay? It's going to be a long enough proof, so I'm squiggling my givens today to try to minimize this video. I can say that angle QPA is congruent to angle APS. And I can say that, well, sorry, that's, that is definition of bisects. And I can say that QA is congruent to RA by definition of midpoint. Okay? So now I'm going to pause and start thinking, and I'll come back and think out loud with you guys. Okay, so I consulted my experts here in the room with me. And uh, Obviously, the biggest part of the given that we haven't used yet is that it's a parallelogram. Parallelograms have equal opposite sides, so we're going to be able to say that these are equal and those are equal, and parallelograms have two sets of parallel lines. So I think what I'm looking at here first is that Z, okay? And so if I said that, and I might use too many steps here, but I'll say that QS, sorry, QR is parallel to PS, okay, and that's definition of a p-gram. Then I will say that angle QAP is congruent to angle APS. AP. Now, this is where marking my diagram gets really important. Because I want to make sure that all of those are single marks. So all three of these angles are currently congruent. Okay? Well, now, if you see this, that makes this, these angles congruent, makes this an isosceles triangle. This black triangle here is isosceles. So now I can say that QP is congruent to QA. Okay? And um, that's if angles, then sides. So the next thing that I'm going to do is use the properties of parallelograms to say that QP is congruent to RS and for that reason I'd say if something is a parallelogram then opposite sides are congruent. Okay, so now I've got this. So 
So I have to say it, so you've got to be careful. Now I've got to say that RS is congruent to RA, and that's transitive. Okay, because QP is the same as RS, um, and RS is, sorry, hold on, let me see that again. Sorry, I said QP was congruent to QA, QA is congruent to AR, RS is congruent to QP, so RS is congruent to RA. That's a hard transitive step. And now I can say that angle RAS is congruent to angle RSA. by if sides are congruent, then angles are congruent, okay? So now the question becomes, how do I make all of those the same? Let's see. So now I just got to look for one more Z. Do you see that Z right there? I can now say that angle RAS is congruent to angle ASP by if parallel, then alternate interior angles are congruent. I feel like I missed that before. QAP is congruent to APS. I did. Look, I literally have a 5 there, and I just never wrote it. It's funny. If parallel, then alternate interior angles congruent. I knew I hadn't written that one out. And now I've got that um, those two are congruent. And so now I can say in step 11 that angle PSA is congruent to angle RSA by transitive. And now you're starting to realize that you have your work cut out for yourself on this next test. Hope that helps. Boom!